Aha, sıhhi yardım çantası. An anti-vehicle kit is available near your location. Oh, anti-vehicle kit, I want it so much. Ah, someone's gonna get it. Oh, no. Yeah, I've got it. Nice. All right, now somebody else has to be the medic. Plane. Oh yeah. Disabled. Oh, oh you got it. Nice, <laughs> nice. All right. Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with a video about what I think is the most popular and, in my opinion, the most valuable of the elite classes. This is the Tank Hunter. Now this class can be picked up on a variety of different maps and on at least one map, San Quentin Scar, you can actually find two different spawn points for the Tank Hunter. Now the main weapon for this class is this big sniper rifle and it's so big that you can't fire it unless you use its bipods. And obviously in most cases you have to prone in order to deploy the bipods but as you will see in this video, that is not necessary in all cases. If you are behind of a wall or inside of a building and shooting out of a window, then sometimes you can actually deploy the bipods while either crouching or standing straight up. And once you understand how it works, it actually makes perfect sense. Now basically I would say that this class is as good as the player using it. Or even more so, as good as the teamwork of the squad of the player that picked this kit up. Because just like with the sentry soldiers or the flame trooper, it benefits tremendously from proper teamwork. Medics can heal him, support players can resupply him, which is going to be needed if he does well enough for enough time. However, you cannot be revived should you die with this class. Gee, I can't, I can't fucking, I can't use, I can't deploy my bipods. Now there are several weapons in Battlefield 1 that requires the bipods in order to fire them and the way that works in this game can probably make the most calm person become absolutely furious. Now as a damage dealer towards the behemoths, this one is actually pretty good and just like with any anti-tank weapon, if you are shooting at the right part, you can actually deal a significant amount of damage. So now the secondary weapon of the tank hunter is the same as the primary weapon for the level 10 tanker class. I've already covered that in another video and a link to that video will be in the description. It is this sword of shotgun. And as you might or might not know, you can also use this sword of shotgun as your primary for your pilot class, assuming that you have unlocked it with your tanker class. Yeah, it is a bit confusing and it is not explained very well by the developers. So now with the massive range of the tanky bear and its one hit kill even with a body shot, this combined with the sort of shotgun's uh, potential at close range and the extra health that the elite classes have, needless to say, this class used properly can okay. almost be a game changer. Oh yeah. I got one. Oh shit, gas, 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 gas. Oh yeah, the gas is gonna be a trouble for you. Yeah. There's a guy in the water, a guy in the water. He's down. So here you can see how I'm deploying the bipods on this uh, halfway destroyed wall here. And I do this all the time with the, the AT got, rocket gun uh, of the assault class. Tank. Oh, uh, what? Disabled it. Nice down. The tank is down here. Yeah. Yeah. Can you revive me? I'm on next to the water. So now what's also worth knowing about the tank hunter is that you have two anti-vehicle grenades, the very same ones that the assault class has. Oh, and uh, as you've probably seen a couple of times, I'm bringing up uh, a couple of binoculars even though I'm not using them in this video. And what they do is that they will allow you to spot enemies and the design is such so that you can also see above short walls or uh, short rocks if you're proning or hiding behind them. Oh, that was a ricochet. An anti-vehicle kit is available near your location. So even though I mentioned it before, the importance for teamwork with this class is actually worth repeating. If you see a uh, team member or a squad member pick up this class, then if you die, why don't you spawn in on him as a medic and try to support him as best you can? Because by doing so, you are going to help your team out tremendously, assuming that the guy that picked up this class knows what he is doing. 
However, the way Battlefield 1 works, many times if you are just successful enough, you can pick up the kit of an either an enemy or a uh, dead uh, teammate and either drop a couple of med packs or medical pouches or some ammo should you find a support kit lying in nearby. And obviously if you don't like the kit that you picked up, you can of course switch back again. Between Bravo and Duff. There's something shooting me, maybe, yeah, I see him. So yeah, the video is going to continue now for another 5 or 6 minutes. I hope you have enjoyed it. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks. What's the plan? B, I guess. Yeah. Is the fog only for me now? No, it's fog. And oh, okay. E, E, E. Enemies on E as well. Hang on. My purse. Fuck. <laughs> Try to say the fucking. Yeah, you know what? Let's go E. Let's, let's go E and take out some some F snipers on the way. No E uh, F F. Sorry F. Yeah. yeah. Don't you know the alphabet? Unisaku doesn't know the alphabet. Oh shit, I need help. Hit him, hit him. What the fuck? Three snipers. One down. At I need least three. More than that, there's like four. I killed two. Tank, tank. Tank. No! Shotgun, close. Can I yeah. press? Hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll flank them. Nice. There are still a couple more up to the north. We have taken objective Freddy. Alright, let's take C. Yeah. Oh, and the vehicle kit, and the vehicle Yes! <laughs> I, I thought oh, he was gonna up. get it. I'm coming. Horse. He's dead. Nice. Spicy, you're here? Yes, oh yeah. <laughs> I need healing. Oh, come on. It's sweet spot mechanic. Watch it, there's a scout. There's a tank, uh, there's a car coming up. Oh, in the ruins there? Barn ruins, one assault, one. Yeah. Uh, there's four guys, five. Our tank, our tank. We have lost objective apples. Kill some people on B. I got shot by another sniper. There's too many of them. Oh, okay. One is in the fields. Well, I'm gonna need ammo soon. Okay, spawn us. Uh, oh no, Toastman, can you spawn on Matthew? Let me redeploy. No, 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 I don't. I have still eight bullets. Oh, nice, I have. Vehicle disabled. 
Oh, I need healing, I need healing. Oh shit. Did we kill the tank? Did we kill the tank? Oh, behind, behind. And behind, there. Yeah. Where? Ah. Ah, one sniper from the app. The trees. Right side. What's that? Got the one from the... Uh. I'm really two. fucking low.